Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So today was, I don't know, possibly the longest day of my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But my wife is out uh, at a bachelorette weekend, and I've been watching the kid all weekend. And uh, she was up at 8, and um, I just finally got her to sleep at 10.20. Um, she just... You know, the last couple nights, you know, I did my normal routine, took her on a walk, and then took her up, put her in the crib, gave her her blanket and her uh, stuffed animal sloth, and she would just go down, right? Um, but not tonight. It was brutal. I had to take two walks and hang out in there for a while. And anyway, then the dogs tried to sabotage it by following me in the room. Because there were fireworks. They were freaking out. So then... Uh, cut away from yourself, Kev. Um, so then they were like hiding in the room. And I didn't know. So I thought I lost the dogs. And I'm searching the whole house. Including her nursery. But I didn't see them. So I'm freaking out. So then I go in there again. Like trying to be all stealth. And I found one dog on the chair in her room. And the other one hiding behind the crib. And I finally dragged them out of there. And luckily, she was so exhausted, she just slept through it, I guess. Um, anyway, what up? Uh, I am unboxing some stuff from Rusty Knife Lover. Shout out to Rusty. Check out his Instagram. Uh, I'm sure I'll remember, but uh, a link in the description to his Instagram. Go give him a follow. I'd appreciate it. Obviously, the unboxing knife is the Winter Blade Co. Factor. And I absolutely love this knife for EDC. Uh, it's not just a fidget toy, guys. This thing is an excellent EDC knife. Um, I use it and carry it all the time. So, a couple of knives here. One of these is something I wanted to check out. The other one is a Civivi that's just along for the ride. I believe this is the Synergy 3, and I think I already checked this out. I at least handled one at like Blade Show or something last year. Um, and this is the one with the Dama steel on it, dead centered. I feel like Rusty hasn't had these knives for like six months, probably. Um, so I find that kind of funny, but, um, yeah, Sabibi Synergy 3. If you guys don't know, the Synergy was an integral designed by a dude named, uh, O Young, or is it a D? I can't, can't tell. Um, this is actually a good looking sort of Damascus. They usually do the ugly stuff. I kind of like this. Um, the Ergos aren't bad. I just don't like a Persian blade. That's kind of my gripe with knives like this. And I believe this was the most expensive Civivi to date uh, when it released. Not anymore. Um, but this was like a hundred and, what was it? Like 150 or 120 bucks. Um, because you can see here, it's some kind of carbon fiber mixture and then some kind of Damascus. I'm sure it's their 9CR Damascus, but it, uh, it's actually pretty good. The detent's on point, uh, shake shut. Uh, it's actually a good example. So I'm glad, uh, I mean, it's, yeah. I like the, uh, little bit of grip you get. I wonder how that feels in pocket with the clip. Not sure. I'll find out just because I, again, I just don't like Persians. I have no, I just, I don't know. Just not going to use it, so I don't see the point. Uh, but anyway, that is the uh, Synergy 3, which is cool. Uh, Right-hand clip only, it looks like, and it's a shitty clip. Um, they are now selling uh, Thai milled clips. So, Rusty, if you watch this, this might be a good candidate to get one of those milled clips because, you know, you don't have the holes over here and probably look good with a black Thai milled clip. So, um, maybe pick one of those up. I think they're like... 30 bucks or something. I don't know. So I'll put this in here. I may or may not review it. <clears throat> and then the one I really want to check out is the Billy Wah demo. So this is designed by William Harsey and Robert Young Pelton. And it's designed to be what Billy Wah would think of as his perfect knife. I don't know who Billy Wah is, so I'm not going to sit here and lie and act like I do. I think he's some kind of a war hero. Um, but again, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. And I'm clearly telling you I don't know. Um, there is some kind of a tool here. Let's see what this guy does. Uh, it looks like an extra pivot. I 
uh, what is this? Can you lock it open or something? Does anybody see a lock? There's another frame lock down here, which is interesting. There's a, I believe a Marlin spike down here. Whatever you call this thing. And it has a uh, frame lock. I guess it's a lefty frame lock on this. Oh God. Jesus. Oh my Lord. What's going on? Maybe that was me. I don't know, but I'm never opening that again. It's kind of centered by those posts, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I have no clue what, what this is. So, interesting. I wonder what it is. It's a screw of some sort. <laughs> which I believe makes me think it's a replacement for something. But, um... There's something to do with RYP design. I don't know what that is, but just want to point it out. Oh, contains, no, demo, still much folding blade knife, skew design and backed. Designed and backed in the USA, manufactured in Italy by Lion Steel. Okay, at least they're upfront about how they did that. There's uh, logos all over the place. Okay, RYP is Robert Young Pelton. Got that part figured out. All right, let's take a look. Billy Waugh on the clip. I kind of like the clip. Uh, oh, it's a very light retention, but I like the mounting. Uh, it can be reversed, which I think is pretty cool. Is that what that was for? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, you can, I got it. Sorry, I'm an idiot. So you can take this and replace that so you don't have a glass breaker. I know, guys. Calm down, uh, Rusty. He's just like yelling at his screen right now. He's, you idiot. It's for the freaking glass breaker, bro. I know. I don't have anything I could use easily right now without possibly damaging something. So I'm not going to remove that. But I totally would because I hate glass breakers. I find them to be the most detesting thing on a knife um, next to D2 and JG10. <laughs> so... Um, now Rusty said I would not like the detent, um, it would be too light, and I agree that it's light, but I don't think it's, like, uber light. It's better than expected, maybe that's all, you know, I just had low expectation, right? Um, it's reasonable, you know, it's not the best, obviously. You have this giant flipper tab, you'd think you could, you know, dial it up a little bit. Um, now you could easily probably just bend that a little bit and add a little bit of tension, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the reason it has this light detent is because it already, uh, it's already takes a little bit of muscle to get that lock bar out of the way. And if you add more, it's just going to suck. Um, uh, and then you got this spike, which is dangerously close to being right there. So if you flip that and slide your finger in, I could see, well, no, you can't really hit it. I was going to say you could take that spike right to the finger after a flip. Um, there's some milling in there. It's not crazy, but there's some. Uh, it says Lion Steel Italy right there on the Marlin spike. It says uh, William W. Harsey on the blade. It says M390. I'm sure it says something. Oh, yep. www.ryp.design over here. Everybody got their freaking name on here. 069... Like, come on with the freaking billboarding. Now, is it set up for... Hmm, maybe it's set up... Yeah, it's set up for the reverse. Like, now, lefty, can we... Get on the clip. I got a Band-Aid, so... Woo! That's not bad. It's not as bad as expected, to be honest. Uh, you got a flat grind. Uh, it starts right here. Relatively thick stock, but I'll tell you, it doesn't come down to the worst edge. It's not bad. I'm sure it slices really well. Uh, might not be the sliciest knife ever. It's not going to be your mom's EDC knife, but uh, it might be your dad's. You know what I mean? Not bad. I don't know what that meant, but I'm funny. So just laugh at it and move on. Don't, don't think into it. You know what I mean? Uh... 
Ergos are a little weird. I, I, I don't know. I, when they do other grooves, it's, you know. You know what this reminds me of in a weird, just stupid way? It reminds me of like a tactical XL TW price Dawn. <laughs> Is that weird? I need to get a Dawn in here and freaking compare. I think it's because of the pattern. It's not the same, but it reminiscent in the color scheme a little bit. Um, the blade to handle ratio feels off to me. So the tip ends there and the handle ends here. So it's not terrible, but for some reason open it. It's actually, yeah, it just looks off. It's worse through the camera though. In, in real life, IRL, it's not as bad. Um, I don't hate this. I don't hate it. Kind of like it. I could see somebody who is um, into the tactical stuff, who follows, you know, Billy Wah and knows everything about him and has some sort of, you know, um, it's off center though. See that clearly. So that sucks. And it's not loose. So let me just. Um, Italy just struggles with QC. Um, so as we talked about, the detent's a little light. The centering is off. We've noted both those things right off the bat. Um, and those are pretty big deals, you know. You have the Marlin spike with the, the uh, lock that I said I wouldn't do again, but I'm going to try it again. Maybe you're supposed to... Oh, it's not as bad as I was thinking. It's still terrible, though. Like, they have a better detent on the Marlin spike... Than they do on the... Uh, it has a detent, but yeah. It has all that good stuff. I don't know what this is meant to do. Or are you supposed to, like, knit with it or something? What does a Marlin Spike do? I know I sound like an idiot, but I am. So, Or is it supposed to be a stabby thing? Is it supposed to be a... <coughs> kind of thing? Or is it a tool? Like, is it meant to dig or, you know, help you pierce through material to sew or something like what is the marlin spike for is my question um but not terrible yeah better than i thought so there you go that's the billy Wah demo and then we have the synergy three from savibi also not bad after handling that detent this one's money i mean it feels perfect if you get low enough you can swing right past that uh flipper tab boom uh, this is a good example of a knife right there, uh, of Sabibi pulling it off, you know? So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You'll probably see a full review on this guy, maybe this guy. You'll probably see rapid reviews on them. But I wanted to do the unboxing, of course. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Thank you again to Rusty, my man. I hope you guys already said that. Love you, and I'll catch you later.